Well, California is parched, and it has been for more than 20 years. From our ABC affiliate in Los Angeles, Rob McMillan reports on the findings of the mega drought. We've seen images like these for years now, with southwest North America in the midst of another extreme drought. And now, a new study led by researchers at UCLA suggests that it's fairly safe to call this one a mega drought. The big finding is that this last 22-year period from 2000 to 2021 was very likely the driest 22-year period in the last 1,200 years. Dr. Benjamin Cook at the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies was one of the authors of this study. How can they tell how dry it was that long ago? Very simple, really. Trees. We can look at the uh, basically width of the tree rings. We can look at the patterns of growth over these very long time periods to turn that information into uh, indexes of for example, soil moisture or precipitation. And Cook says climate change is making matters even worse. He says average temperatures have risen 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit over the past several decades. It may not sound like much, but he says it does make a difference. You know, the warmer it is, the more moisture the atmosphere can hold, and the higher the evaporation, the more water it's going to suck out of the surface. And consequently, less snow falls on the surface. We get rain rather than snow. We get earlier snow melt, we get a uh, smaller snowpack. So what will it take to bring an end to this record-breaking dry spell? At the end of the day, like to dig ourselves out of the massive water deficit that, you know, this drought really represents, we would need a couple of, you know, very wet years to, you know, dig us out of it within the next couple of years. And that's not impossible, certainly, but it's, uh, it's pretty unlikely. Rob McMillan, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.